Hi guys and welcome to your next project on EasyPy 3. In this project we will program a simple game based on the concept of the film Groundhog Day. If you haven't seen the film, it's really good, you can check it out. The only thing you need to know for this project is that Bill Murray's character is stuck in February the 2nd Groundhog Day and he keeps waking up at 6am to live the same day over and over again. And spoiler alert, he eventually gets out. Someone's actually gone and calculated from the clues in the film that he was actually stuck in there for 12,395 days. Now what we're going to do in this project is design a game where the user has to input a number that matches a number we pick, in this case 12,395. If they get the number wrong, they're stuck in Groundhog Day, i.e. it keeps asking them for a number. And if they get it right, they get out. You will be using a Python module in this project. Just to give you a quick overview of modules. Modules in Python are like a code library, allowing you to use functions that have already been written. To use a module in your code, you simply write import with a lowercase i. This, as you can see from the color change, is a keyword. Then you write the name of the module. In our case, we'll be using the time module which is a built-in module. That's it, we now have access to all the functions in the time module. Now the function, or rather the method we'll be using from the time module is called sleep. And what this does is it causes a delay in the output. Let me show you what I mean. To use it, we simply write time.sleep and a pair of brackets. Inside the brackets, we must give one argument. And this is how long you want your output to be delayed for in seconds. So let's write five, for example. Now after that, let's print hello world. If I save that and run it, as you can see, there's a wait. And after five seconds, we get hello world on the console or the shell. And that's it, simple as that. And now let's start with our Groundhog Day game. As always, start by creating a new file. And let's just go ahead and import time to start off with. Next, let's create the variable, our perfect number. And we're going to assign 12,395 to it. This is the number the user has to enter to get out. Next, I'm going to create another variable. And this one I'm going to call clock1. This will show the time as 5.59. I've already prepared it, so I'm just going to paste it here. Next variable I'm going to create is clock2. Again, I've already prepared it and it's showing 6 o'clock. If you've seen the film, you'll get the reference here. Every day he wakes up and he sees 5.59 and the clock changes to 6 and he realizes he's stuck in the same day. And we're going to display this every time the user enters an answer. Okay, now let's start the game. I'm just going to paste over here a little intro I've already written for the game. If we go ahead and run that, we'll see that it prints out a nice little introduction for the user. And let's go ahead and ask the user to input a number. So we're going to create a variable called number. And we're going to assign an input to it. And we're going to say enter number. And we're going to make sure that this is an integer. So we're going to cast it to an int. Next, we're going to give a while statement. So we're going to say while number is not equal to perfect number. Now, what this is saying is that as long as the number that the user enters is not the same as the perfect number we've chosen, do the following. So here, we're going to give the user clues, okay? Because we don't want to leave them completely blind, not knowing where they are. So we're going to write if number is less than perfect number, To make a dramatic effect, we're going to show them the clock one first. So we're going to write print clock one. And then on the next line, we're going to write time.sleep. And we're going to give it one second to create that dramatic effect. And we're going to now print clock two. And again, we're going to write time.sleep. And we're going to give it one second. And then finally, we're going to print February the 2nd. 
and then we're going to create a new line and then we're going to say number two low and then create another line. Then we're going to write an else statement. So if the number is greater than our perfect number, we're going to write the same thing. So we're going to copy paste it, but this time we're going to change from number too low to number too high. And then inside the loop, we're going to write number equals, and then we're going to copy paste the input from the start. This way, as long as the number is not right, it's just going to keep looping. Finally, outside the loop, we're going to write what happens if they get the number right. So again, to create that dramatic effect, we're going to copy paste. And this time, what we're going to print is February the 3rd. And we're going to write today is tomorrow. If you've seen the movie, you will get the reference. Let's save that and run it. Okay, and uh, let's just test it. So let's write, I don't know, 20. And you see it's that nice dramatic effect. So it's number too low. Let's write something much higher. Let's write 20,000. And you see it creates that suspense. Am I stuck in the same day or am I going to go into the next day? Number too high. And now let's just write the perfect number. And there you go. February 3rd, today's tomorrow. Perfect. So the game works and you're out of the loop. That's it guys, you've got yourself another program. You can update it to your liking and as you learn more things in this course you can always come back and add new features.